Hi Cancer, welcome to your Soulmate Twin Flame reading for the week of August 28th through September 3rd. This is for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign of Cancer. This is a general reading. If you would like a personal reading that is um, more clarity on your specific situation, you can go to AscendingSoulsJourney.com. You will see the monthly special readings and guidance tab, and you can choose whatever reading you feel would be appropriate for you. You pay for it on the site, and it gives you all the instructions on what to do afterward to send in to complete your reading. I would like to thank all of you who subscribe, like, and share my videos. Um, and those of you who have booked readings and made donations to my channel, I just love doing this for you. The first card we have is the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords is a person, they call it the, the sneaky, cheating, lying thief card. Um, but the Seven of Swords is somebody who takes what they want and leaves the rest. Now, this can go in two different directions. This can be taking from a lesson with your soulmate taking the lesson, pulling out from it what is important for you, and that turns into wisdom and leaving the rest and walking away, letting it go into the past. Others, this can be a sneaky, cheating, lying thief card. <laughs> um, this is followed by the strength card. So the strength card is having enough willpower, courage, strength to move forward. This is all about strength. This is from the universe. It's telling you to walk away from this situation. For some of you, it could be you taking from, like I said, the lessons that you need and moving forward. For others of you, it's having strength because somebody has done this to you. This is followed by the Six of Swords. So the Six of Swords is moving away from rough seas into calmer waters is the theory behind the the six of swords now this is about thoughts you're taking the thoughts with you so it can coordinate with this as far as taking what you need and moving forward you have the strength and courage to do that and you can and will do that followed by the knight of wands the knight of wands is a person who is very passionate very energetic this person's going to come in very quickly you're going to have very fast communication coming in um, from this knight of wands now for some of you this could be a brand new person we ought to do that a little bit better this time this can be a brand new person so you are walking away from a situation that was deceitful and you're getting the strength to, to walk away from them. It isn't easy walking away from our soulmate because the love is so strong, it's even harder to walk away from our twin flame. But you have the strength and courage to move forward. And in doing that, moving forward, you will meet this Knight of Wands. You're, gonna, you're going right towards them. You see her, the Six of Swords, the person in the boat is moving right towards that Knight of Wands. That was too many cards. That was like eight cards. They do that. They want me to tell a story. So, oops, I don't know why I did that. Okay, for some of you, it is the Three of Swords. So this person that took what they wanted, they hurt you. They hurt you deeply, all right? And you have the enough strength and courage to move forward out of that relationship. Now this could be that they actually cheated on you with another person. This could be them not releasing the past. So if you're dealing with somebody who is single, maybe they went through a separation, a divorce, but they're still focused on that person of the past, that will hurt you also. This is followed by the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles is keeping things in balance. So while you have enough strength to move forward, you're being told to make sure you keep things in balance as you move forward away from the person that hurt you. Also the hangman. So the hangman is stepping back to reassess the situation, to look at it from a completely different perspective where you take your emotions out of it. For some of you, again, this could be just thoughts. You may think they cheated on you. You may think they stole your heart and walked away with it.
but that may not necessarily be true. Um, you may, uh, you're going to have somebody contact you and it's going to be fast communication. The Knight of Wands is very fast, very passionate, attractive person um, that they want to offer you a new beginning. I'm told to pull two cards. They want to offer you a beginning with them. Now it's not... You know, they can come in and just want passion, just want sex, you know, a, a weekend together or uh, a month or two. For others, this may be an actual person making you an offer. And it has the, air, the qualities of Aries Leo Sag, which is all about fire. So it's passion, it's energy, it's creativity. They're exciting. Now the first card that came out is honeymoon. Enjoy the time of the holiday bliss together. So for some of you, it is having this wonderful fling with this person walking away from somebody else after you go in and you, you reevaluate the situation. So as we look at the cards in the order that they are, somebody hurt you. Somebody stole your heart and walked away. For others, it, you could think that they had an affair. While you're gathering up that strength and courage to move forward, because you are being guided to do that, keep your balance. See how it's under the strength card. And before you sail off for calmer waters, you need to go in and, and do some per, uh, look at the situation from a different angle. So religious factors, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. For some of you, it's leading you directly to your twin flame. So you may be leaving a karmic situation where healing needed to take place. And that healing is going to take place because you have enough strength to do this. Whether you're currently with that person or you have already separated from them. For others, you have a new person coming in and they want you to move into that new relationship with this person. They may come in and make an offer that is more of a weekend kind of a thing, uh, you know, fast, like I want sex, but that's not what they really want. So make sure you evaluate the entire situation before you decide to move forward. So I do hope this helps you, Cancer. Please check out your moon and rising sign as well. Pull from all three what is applicable for your life and uh, let go of the rest. But you're going to have quite an interesting week and we would all love to hear your comments. And I hope you have a really wonderful week. Much love.